So nice to see everyone. Look how happy everyone looks, yeah? Oh, nice. I used to want to be happy. Now I'm old. I just want to die before my breasts hit the floor. That's what I'm looking at. <laughs> Get tired. I'm tired. and not young like you beautiful millennials. Look at you. You're young. You got youth. You're happy. You're not tough. You're not tough. I could take the whole generation out with a jar of peanuts. Because <laughs> you all got a peanut allergy. A bag of flour. I could be queen of the world. You know who was tough? My Nona was tough. My nose, she was beautiful, little Italian lady. Grandma, for you people who aren't Italian. Beautiful, just little, looked just like, just like a movie star, just like Danny DeVito. She was tough. <laughs> she was tough. She could clean, oh my God. Middle of the night, go to the bathroom, come back, your bed would be made. And she'd be mad at you, you messy. Disgrazia, so messy. I'm like, it's 2.30 in the morning, woman. I know, you hungry? <laughs> Like, yeah, I could eat, I could eat. And I'm married, uh, I love my husband. My husband's very good looking. Not so smart, but very good looking. I married the hot kid from the slow class. <laughs> Take your time, some of you are him. You know. It's okay, I don't need him to do much for me, right? Just, you know, be loyal and guard the perimeter. That's really all I'm looking for out of life. It's not that he's stupid. Listen, I knew what I was getting into. He knows stuff. He reads the internet, but it's always ridiculous stuff. Like he came home and said to me, he goes, we need a safe word. A safe word. You know about this stuff? Apparently people are having sex to such a frenetic, violent pace. They need an out clause, a phrase that will stop them from their head getting banged against the headboard so hard that their skull splits and their brains come flying out. I said to him, if you could do that, why would I stop you? <laughs> We're all gonna die. That just might be the way to go. What happened to Tammy? Well, she came and she went. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed to even tell a sex joke. I'm not good at it. Like, you young millennials, it's all sex to you. Threesomes, threesomes, threesomes. Get out of here. You do what you want, but if there was another woman in bed with us, I'd be like, you got this covered? Because I got stuff to do. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm a grown woman. I'm not trying to trick you. I'm busy. I got a kid. I love my son. He's smart, by the way. Uh, I didn't know which way that was going to go, trust me, because he's cute. No one says their kid is stupid, though, right? No one ever goes, oh, I got to invest in Velcro shoes for the rest of my life. They never say it out loud. They think it, they think it a lot, but. You know, it's hard to get a kid into school. It's really hard. Literally, I had, to, I had to fill out an application. I had to write an essay. An essay. My husband goes, I'll write it. Uh, no. <laughs> not only will he not get in, we'll lose custody. <laughs> like, that's not, it's <laughs> not happening. He's smart. You can judge, I don't care. I don't, you don't have to be Catholic, you don't have to even have religion. Know this, philosophically, look with this child. When he was six years old, he came into our home and he said to me, Mommy, if God is Jesus' father, who is God's father? That's deep. That's a way better retirement plan than I thought that I was gonna have, okay? Because that's why you're supposed to have two kids in case one's an idiot, you have somewhere else to live, okay? <laughs> Who is God's father? So wonderful, magical. And just as I'm gonna tell that little prodigy child how amazing he is, I hear my husband in the other room, Marlon Brando. <laughs> I got a safe word for you, get the hell off of me. How about that? I shouldn't even say that because we can never have sex. You know that, right? When you have a child in your home, you can't have sex anymore. Listen to me, millennials. That's what happens. You no longer, you cannot, they will just show up. The moment you try to have sex, they're just like little robotic homing pigeons. Must return to the place I was created. Like it's, <laughs> it's the closest thing to modern day sorcery I've ever seen in my entire life. Two cats jump up on the bed. The dog is watching us. We didn't even have a dog, so that's really weird. It's so weird. I don't know. Listen, everything I learned 
is about, you gotta be tough, don't be afraid. I learned that when I was four years old, we went to see Jaws as a family. <laughs> that explains a lot, okay? Just so you know, no one in my family has ever been to therapy unless it was court ordered, okay? So, uh, Jaws, remember Jaws? What happens that first scene of Jaws, you remember? The girl jumps in the water, she's naked, she gets eaten by the shark, then this. Remember just that hand? That severed hand on the beach? The most powerful scene in the history of cinema, that hand. Makes you feel some kind of way right now, remember? I'd never seen anything like that. I was four. I couldn't breathe. I was in feet pajamas, for God's sake. I was, and my mother, this is when I learned who I was, because my mother reached down through that fear, and she grabbed me, and she held me, and she said, that's what happens when you swim naked with boys. I'm Tammy Pescatelli. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you.